gamers and welcome back to Jamie King by Perlong. As always guys, thank you for your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. Ooh, why is that choking me right now? Um, for personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. Aquarius, let it go, whatever it is. Let that shit go. I don't know what it is. You have to find a way to come to peace with it. Um, if something is giving you a headache, you're 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 looking at something. You're looking at something. You're revisiting something. You're revisiting something, and you're torturing yourself. Uh, you need to let it go. You need to let it go. Even if somebody didn't ask for forgiveness, even if it's it's something that that um, was very dramatic. Um, not dramatic traumatizing excuse me guys um you need to find a way not for the other person but for yourself to let it go now before you guys jump at me i'm not telling you to just go ahead and be like oh i let it go no i'm not talking about that I i'm talking about if you need to get help if you need to get into therapy then you do that if you get if you need to if you need to start journeying, that journaling, then you do that. Whatever it is that you need to do to go into that space to heal this, to go into that space to go ahead and free yourself from whatever it is that you're holding on so tight to, then you need to do it. Now, whether this was somebody that, you know, broke your heart romantically, whether this was somebody that did you wrong, whether this is somebody that stole from you, whatever, whatever it is, and, and when I say you have to let it go, that is not giving the other person an out. That is not saying that the other person doesn't have to take accountability. What I'm trying to say is that this reading is for you. This reading is to help you. So you have to, at, at some point you have to realize that you need to help yourself if you want God, the universe, Whoever it is that you connect with, to be honest with you, to help you, right? There, there was this, there, there was this thing that I had read once. Um, there was, it's actually like two things. There's, a, there's always this thing where, um, uh, my mom would always say, um, in Spanish, "Dio dice ayúdate que yo te ayudaré," which translates that God says, um, "Help yourself that I will help you." So, meaning, if you take that first step don't worry i got you right and and it was almost kind of like um there was there was one thing that i had read a long time ago where there was this woman that was sick and she kept going to church and she would um i don't know if she was going to church she was praying let's put it that way and she would pray to god like oh please heal me i want you to heal me i want you to heal me and and then she goes yeah i think it was in church because then she goes to the to the priest and she tells him like oh you know I, I've been asking God to heal me, but I'm still not healed. And the the priest had told her like to pray in faith. So to pray in faith, you pray as if it has already happened. So then the woman started to pray, I am healed. And instead of asking to be healed, she was giving thanks. And she was gi giving, she was giving praise and thanks to God for healing her. And then when she went back to the doctor, she was healed. So that's kind of like the logic that I want you to take from that, right? That... I am not saying that what happened or whatever it is that you're holding on to, that there's no reason, right? That I'm not, I'm not downplaying whatever happened. What I'm saying is that at some point, you have to make the conscious decision that you don't want to keep on carrying this with your entire life. And when you make that conscious decision, then you can go ahead and the right choices, right? Or the right decision of how you're going to go ahead to let that go will come to you. You. but that first step is saying i want to let this go and trust me if you do that the clarity is going to come in as to how it is that you have to do it now again for some of you it's going to be something that was very um traumatizing for some of you it's going to be something simple that is kind of like seriously like you know it, it can be something very small but regardless of it there is this this kind of like holding on to something that is no longer doing anything other than Every time you think about it is either putting in like making you very angry or making you very sad. And it's like, why do you want to keep on reliving that every single day? And some of you can be saying, well, I don't have a choice or you don't understand. 
okay, I get it. I may not understand because it may not have been the same situation, but I have had things that I've had to really work hard to let go of because that's how it felt for me at some, at some point in my life. And then when I would say I'm going to work on letting this go, it wasn't something that would happen overnight. Certain things definitely were like within but there are things that take time and regardless of your perception when it comes to time it, you know everyone is different but right now at this part in your journey you're being asked to show up and at least consciously say like yes i don't want to live with this anymore i want to let this go because it is preventing you from achieving something in a very in whatever area that is in your life Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and let's pull out AP Tarot. <clears throat> so we have the four of wands. The four of wands, the knight of wands in the reverse, and then the, the eight of pentacles. This is not something that this is not something that is going to be fixed for you. There there's no bypassing. With this with this Knight of Wands, you're thinking that if a year goes by, it's going to be a distant memory. Or something that you're not gonna you're not gonna remember, not something that you're not gonna think about. But if you don't deal with it and if you don't face it, a year from now, two years from now, something is going to trigger you that is going to make it feel like it's happening all over again. And it's going to make you be, it's almost going to be like, regardless of how far in the future it is, you're going to feel like you're right where you were in the past. Um, let's go ahead and let's pull out a love energy card. Now, this can be romantic relationship. This can be platonic or simply your passion for your career um, or your hobbies or your self-love. What do we have for Aquarius? <clears throat> Soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. So when we talk about the soulmate card, a lot of people think that it just has to be romantically, and it's not, right? Um, there, there is this this soul contract that that needs to be fulfilled, and in order to allow this energy to come in, something needs to be let go. Um, in order to walk in, to walk in, to walk in, yeah, yeah, okay. In order to walk in your path or in order to take those steps that are going to lead you to to where it is that you're supposed to that not where you're supposed to be that's not what i want to say to where it is that you're going in your journey you have to you have to let go of the things that can't come with you otherwise you're going to see yourself kind of like repeating the same patterns So you're being asked to make an agreement with yourself that you're at least going to give yourself the opportunity to at least think or at least have faith, let's put it that way, that there is a way to let go of this and there is a way out, even if you can't see it clearly at this moment. All right. So let's go ahead and let's pull out a closing message for you guys. What is a closing message for Aquarius? Do I even have to say it? Number five. Five talks about what changes. And we have closing door completion. Completion. That is what is trying to happen. And in order for something to end, in order for you to close that door completely, you have to face this in order to let it go. Well, guys, that is all I have. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.